the last three, four years, um, uh, alongside my projects, my fixed projects, I've also had the need or the urge or the wish to develop my solo projects. I use now, um, now it's lately it's been two versions of my solo projects. One is concentrated with the big Gran Casa, it's the orchestral bass drum. Uh, it's put horizontally, I'm standing playing it, and on this on the surface of the head I I, I rub and I, I play with a, a vibrating speaker also on the head of it, which actually is controlled by an iPad and some ad apps that generate sound through the vibrating speaker and the whole instrument then sound. I wanted to use this because I wanted also, I usually, before I discovered the vibrating speaker, I used a Sruti box, which is like an Indian Indian replica of a Sruti box, which is like a pump organ kind of thing. And But when I used that, trying to get the resonating sound of the drum and putting things on top to get it to vibrate, I always had one hand busy doing that with the machine. So I was looking for something that actually could do that without me having to do it with one hand. So the vibrating speaker, when I discovered that, that was an amazing experience because I had my both hands free, I could do something else. I could prepare the bass drum and uh, and actually the vibrating speaker gives a lot of possibilities. I'm, I'm doing that for two, three years now and I still have lots of things uh, to develop there. And and the, the Gran Casa is one of the um, basics in the, in my solo setup, and then there's now uh, the lately the last year I've actually got a new snare drum, which is a big snare drum, like 16 inch, made for me, and that with the with the solo snare drum piece, I also use only the vibrating speaker, with which is not the case with the Gran Casa setup, which is more like. Ex uh, extended with ceramic belts and other percussions and add a bit electronics actually. So with the snare drum it's um, it's only about drones like sinus tones that are transmitted from the iPad to the vibrating speaker and on the on the when the speaker is uh, when this um, the skin is vibrating you can also prepare it with small metal objects, a triangle, and you can get, and like the spectrum of overtones that you, have, you, you get is, uh, it's super rich. So I play with that to make pieces of uh, basically, yeah, from between 20 to 30 minutes of uh, exploring the, the, the soundscapes you can create with the harmonics that, uh, that happens when you prepare this snare drum with the, with the metal objects.
So basically, now doing this, uh, I would never. I, in the beginning, I wasn't thinking that I would like to go towards composition in my in my in my work. But now lately, I'm working with this uh, solo project. I also find uh, interesting, and also have been speaking to many people that musicians that were interested in how can we we would like to go into your sound world. How can we do that? So basically now is uh, my my interest is also to see if I can try to mirror what I do as a solo uh, artist and try to pass that on to others in other ensembles or me being part of it or not in a way. So that makes me go through another kind of how can I transmit the spontaneity that I work with and try to put that on the kind of a piece of paper or in another form? Because I mean, nowadays you can you don't have to you don't have to actually write a score to to present your music to other musicians. There are many musicians who are super open-minded and also are used to work in many ways to actually be able to to enter in your ideas and your your. Um, your music in uh, in an, in another way. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm uh, working with uh, ensembles uh, mainly across Europe, but also uh, I'm writing a piece actually for speak percussion now, which are actually based on my my snare drum technique with the vibrating speaker, and this would be a piece for three snare drums at the same time with the electronics. So this is also. Um, uh, my next project would be a project with uh, the ensemble the Musikfabrik in, in Germany, which will be also a mix of my, my, my instruments and my approach with traditional instruments and the, and the, the instrument made by um, uh, the musicians there from the, the replica of the Harry Parch instruments from the composer, the American composer. So this is uh, more or less the the, um, the project I'm working on now. What I would like to recommend is that if you have, uh, if you want to be playing music and you have ideas and you have uh, a, a wish to make something different or something new, then don't be afraid to, to ask around of advice or, also, or actually just also to surf the internet, listen to records and go to concerts to see things that you don't know. Don't go to see the concert that you always already know what it is. You can also do that, but you, it's most importantly that you, you see and hear the music that you don't know anything about. That might give you a super surprise and also to maybe get in contact with something that you didn't know that you were interested in and that you wanted to explore. So I think it's uh, important to actually do search for things that's out there that may be not in the institution that you're uh, in contact with, but maybe outside. And also be, be open-minded and try to search for the things that you want in life and be, listen to yourself and your inner voice. <laughs>